he pushes them and if they react and stay in the interaction they are choosing and telling their lizard brain and everyone else this person is important enough for me that i'm willing to endure humiliation in order to keep the interaction what wow. can we learn from the manipulation tactics of the bill clinton kid matan what manipulation tactics did the bill clinton kid deploy in order to rise to fame and control the frame okay so let me pop it off how do y'all feel about like adult content oh well like how y'all feel about like stuff like that and no, like support that. that type of stuff i think that that's corruption towards the land and that's corruption for society so mm. that. what about you my brother you know obviously i think a lot of people would uh, know my opinion on this i, I believe it's uh, some of the most evil uh, things you can do to yourself and uh, to everybody you know so they uh, don't do anything no what is he doing there he is triggering their emotions and the person who is most emotional about a situation it means their lower status because the higher status person is the one at cause not at effect so he's beginning right away by triggering their emotions through extreme views no, that, that's, that's, yeah, that's the W. No. And notice how he's not even looking at them. He's looking away, he's fixing his hair, he's looking at his glasses. What does that mean? The human brain pays attention to what has value or has danger and therefore power. Well, if you don't pay attention to something, that means it's not important, it's of lower status than you, and he's putting them in a dynamic, therefore, of being lower status. The only way to escape it is to not to engage at all, but if they engage with him, it means they're giving him attention, which means he is valuable and important, while he's not giving them attention, which means they are less valuable, which raises his status above them. Well, I have OnlyFans, but I don't share any nude images of myself or do like adult content, but okay, I like talk to people. No. You see when he did, uh, he's putting himself as a judge. And who is the person judging? It means it's someone whose validation people need, and therefore he's putting himself as higher status within the interaction. But I also do it through other forms too, like direct me is another one, but yeah. Uh, this is not as bad, but you're, uh, I guess you're still scared. I just want to know one thing. So I have a this is not as bad, which means again, he's still triggering the emotion, implying it's still bad, and notice how he's fixing his hair, all that, it means himself is more important than them. Really question uh -huh. for you, I have a question, and the question is how do you feel about, what do you know, my first question is what makes a land what makes a land corrupt yeah. what makes a land corrupt to defy this government to be corrupt tell me the five things you know because i can tell you i have no idea what you just asked me i asked you what makes a land corrupt a land? i have no idea what you just asked me that is again an emotional trigger for two things one if you learn about storytelling you know that the story is anything where someone is has a goal and that goal gets frustrated or an obstacle is put against it so he's triggering an emotion by frustrating her goal through misinterpretation and secondarily it implies she's not smart enough to communicate clearly which means that she is lower status than him and therefore he is disrespecting her very subtly but in a very real way and have you ever had an interaction where you felt like the person was disrespecting you but their words were not so disrespectful you, you can't put your finger on it well i'm showing you exactly what he is doing like yeah, government somebody who owned the land who uh, the no i just want you to answer a question what I makes it huh i never said pro israel okay well i was asking you a question <laughs> i know where you're going with this it's not gonna happen <laughs> what? Where, where am i going i know where you're going with this two things one he shows that he's so smart that he can already understand where she's going with whatever and the conclusion of her train of thought which implies she's less smart than him it frustrates her goal and therefore creates drama and conflict and it shows autonomy which is part of the guru creation formula that we speak about which is superiority autonomy and certainty so autonomy means he can lose the interaction take it or leave it and therefore he is showing pure autonomy all throughout and look again he's not even looking at them he keeps fixing things looking at himself how he's looking just enamored with his image like narcissus in mythology well it's part of his personal branding and character so where do you stand i'm asking so why, you, why do you say that benjamin you know who's a genius yeah when well, he's well, one of the main when israel that. took him to court for defamation and corruption in israel and bribery right. for right. perjury. Right. and people and you got and nobody and everyone in israel is killing people and like what are people like you in position saying about it right. you are in position to be like bill clinton like you said and bill clinton yes he did one thing for america he took away the debt okay and he helped the black community yes he did do that so i do fuck with bill clinton for that everything else no corruption is still in israel let me get egyptian seats back it's all in israel let me get back i never i never made any stance or any claims that i'm pro israel or pro palestine so you go to israel with the other guy who said what happened there he didn't even accept the frame 
And how, why does that work? A lot of people who give advice to those who are guilty of anything, they say deny, deny, deny forever. Because if you don't accept guilt or admit it, then people have no leg to stand on to argue with you. So whether he said it in the past or not, doesn't matter. In this situation, there is no way to verify it 100% unless they would be smart enough to pull up their phones and search for a direct quote for him. But denying gives their argument no leg to stand on, which creates drama and conflict because it frustrates their goal, as we spoke about, as well as shows autonomy that he's willing to lose the interaction by pushing them away and being irritating towards them yet they stay in the interaction which means they need him more than he needs them uh, who, another guy who is pro so where are you staying you're not, you're not letting me give an answer to you okay i'm sorry Wait, so you know for just obvious points i said this a couple times you know, i never actually made a, a political stance on the israel-palestine situation so you're essentially not only not arguing with me you're just arguing uh, you know with your so why don't you say why don't you say your stance because you're not having a stance i just uh, i don't care about the situation so you're not arguing with anybody so then why, why, why are you, you, you talking to yourself so then why are you talking about other people you're from israel right you're hebrew right you speak hebrew you're hebrew you're jewish right you said you were israeli jewish why are you jewish hat Okay, so for one, I guess uh, you guys thought you're gonna come in here with all this knowledge, but you don't even have the basic uh, knowledge in red that not all Jews are Israeli. That's what you said, no, that's what you Wait, said. You talking, you know, it's in, in your... Again, so much. He's showing autonomy, he's pushing them away, and again, it's there is a proverb where if you argue with an idiot, they will win the argument because they will beat you with experience. <laughs> in reality, I'm not saying he's an idiot, he's actually a very smart person, but what he's doing is employing the tactics of ignoramus and stupid people and part of those tactics is exactly what he's doing and the way he's correcting them he's not even showing emotions and they're showing higher emotion than him it means they care more and therefore they're the lower status people in the interaction plus he is correcting them and who corrects you a teacher a parent someone who is an authority and of more experience and expertise and therefore, he puts himself as higher status, correcting them, which means they are his students. You uh, mix a lot of words that you think sound good together, but they don't. So essentially, what I'm saying is that for one, not all Jews are Israeli, which you kind of just imply, which makes it sound a little bit stupid. Mm -hmm. so, uh, no, be respectful, though. Yeah, be respectful. Yeah. No. The way you talk to people. Yeah, no, I didn't imply that. I don't think that. I don't think all Jews are bad. I don't think. I think the people who support Israel are in corruption. Okay, but I never said I support Israel. That's so, what I'm saying. So you're arguing with uh, the clouds. But that's what I'm asking you. So. But I'm asking you where you. He keeps on jabbing at them with insults again to provoke their emotions to put on a, a good show, good drama, but again. The person who is reacting more emotionally, which in, in this case is them, is the person of lower status who is losing the argument and it has nothing to do with the content of the argument because what people care about is how they feel and how their lizard brain interprets the dynamic. And in this dynamic, he is being the high status person chased by them in order to get an answer. And he keeps them chasing, irritating them, making them more emotional with them, not being reactive and therefore high status. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a stance on it. Why not? That's weird to me. Isn't that I would have, well? have to do uh, more studying into the topic. Oh, the that's funny. Stance. Okay, what do you study about? What do you, you indulge your, your mind about? What I don't really have a deep knowledge within so the politics of the Middle East. I'm just extremely knowledgeable on many things. I guess uh, no, that's not Actually, one of the things. You use Netanyahu as a sideable person and that's why um, that's why I asked you this question today. I feel like you are knowledgeable, but if you're not, okay, I apologize, and I do wish peace upon you. So. Right, I'm sorry uh, if I come so in a you know, uh, manner. What okay. I said uh, last time about uh, Netanyahu, I actually cited uh, him as one of uh, the people who claimed that uh, after they started uh, using OnlyFans, their entire life started falling apart. You know, uh, their dog ran away, their wife left him, his kids left him. So it wasn't actually... Again, now he's turning the whole situation into a joke, showing extreme autonomy that he doesn't care so much that he will just turn it into a laughing matter while to them it's obviously a very serious conversation and therefore again he's not accepting their frame he is using it as entertainment so they're not even important to him elevating his status crushing their status which reduces serotonin in their brain and therefore makes them even more emotional and reactive any claims about israel or palestine it was a completely different so i guess maybe you either don't have any idea what i was saying or your brain is just i don't know maybe you have a screw so what do you want to talk about you have all these books but you keep talking what do you want to talk about teach me something i don't know yeah, teach something. What, what are you yeah, uh, they try to regain the frame and return some status by saying teach me something what does that mean it's an order and therefore part of the compliance when it comes to value attainability compliance. If he complies, it means he cares now about their opinion, their validation about the interaction, which means he will lose frame technically. Therefore, let's see what he will do. Brought the 10 books of uh, mention that did not get, the 11 books actually, that did not get any love last time. Right, so you know, 12 books. 12 books. So you know, I, I read a couple books today. 
No, uh, I'm not saying that uh, you know these are the only books I read. Obviously, I can name unlimited books. A lot of people uh, know about the book uh, Question Answer. Let's turn to uh, some of the stupid OnlyFans o- OF uh, people. So uh, you know, I brought a couple of books. I, I honestly thought I was going to be talking with uh, some more uh, OF models. So I was going to share some books with them. I guess. I did too. I did too. I, I did. Not, I did uh, know exactly. What you- Notice how he's talking about something else, although it seems related, but he changed the topic. How he is dissing them again. Uh, they're not OF models, and how he's taking care of his face arranging his look, which means he's so comfortable in the interaction. It's like they are in his bathroom and he's just uh, fixing his hair and his face and therefore he doesn't care about them at all. It's a way of putting the dynamic where he pushes them and if they react and stay in the interaction, they are choosing and telling their lizard brain and everyone else, this person is important enough for me that I'm willing to endure humiliation in order to keep the interaction while he's not doing it at all, showing the SAC part of autonomy. But why can't we talk about it though? Because he's clearly from some place and you should represent from where you're from. Uh-huh. Represent where you come and from. this is one of the biggest right, things in the world. Where are you from? Where are you from? California. You're trying to push me to being pro Israel so you can have a no, debate. I don't want to you a little bit. Wait, stop talking. No. Listen, next time you talk, you have to raise your hand and maybe I will allow you to repeat your question. Damn. You see he's putting himself as the teacher and there's the students as well as dissing them to getting them even more emotional, making them make no sense and therefore the lizard brain of every Everyone watching will see them as lower status and belittled by him. 